Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking about how to feed opossums. Common names for these little guys are short-tail opossums, Brazilian opossums, and rainforest opossums. They are not common pets and there isn't a whole lot of information about them on the internet. And to make it even worse, some of the information that is on the internet about them is actually really inaccurate. So it was very important to me to make this video about them and how to feed them. If you would like to learn more about their general care requirements, you can watch this video here. This video today is just going to be about taking care of their nutrition and diet. I'm Megan with Happy Tails Pet Care and I'm a professional pet expert and nutrition consultant. My goal is to educate people about animals and help pet owners provide the best care to their beloved pets. See a pet in my video you like? Let me know and I will feature that pet in more videos. Reba Cheap here will not be in this entire video because they are nocturnal and he would really rather be asleep right now, so I'm gonna let him go back to bed pretty soon. One of the main health concerns with these little guys is hair loss, especially on the rump, but this can be prevented with proper diet. So many pet opossums suffer from this, but it's just because they're not being given the proper nutrition. Opossums really are an exotic animal. They've only been in the pet trade since the early 90s. So the issue is that people are getting these exotic animals and expecting their diets to be super simple to just be able to give them food out of a bag every day and that's it. Exotic animals need real food and they need their diets to resemble what they would eat in the wild. Really, all animals require this. We are learning more and more about how processed food is not healthy for humans. So why would we think that it's healthy for animals? People are afraid to feed their animals real food for a number of reasons. One of those being that they'll be malnourished. We need to get away from this idea that processed food is the only way to get everything that you need. If you eat a balanced meal consisting of different types of foods, then you'll be fine. And the same goes for animals. Holistic doctors have been coming out saying that multivitamins are actually false promises and that the best thing that you can do for your body is to eat real food. People need to remember that processed pet food has only been around for about 80 years and didn't become mainstream until several years after that. Our grandparents and great-grandparents did not feed their dogs kibble. So the reason that I'm talking about this is because an opossum is definitely not the type of animal that can live off of dry food. If you want to get one as a pet, it's very important to understand that dry food kibble will cause them health issues very quickly. In my care video, I mentioned giving them high quality cat food as part of their food. And it's okay to give this in small amounts but this should not be their entire diet. Once, two times a week as part of their diet is okay, but that's not what they should be eating every day and only that, that's not good for them. Opossums are omnivores and opportunistic feeders that require a diet high in protein. This means that they will hunt other smaller animals and they will also eat something that they find. By understanding what their natural habitats are in the wild, it will help us better understand how to feed them and how to care for them. So let's talk about what is not safe for them to have. Do not feed them any grains. In the wild, they would not be feeding on grains at all, so just keep it out of their diet. No rice, oats, wheat, corn, any of that. It's just not good for them. It's not part of their diet, so just keep it out of their food. And the reason that I bring this up is because a lot of people try to feed them uh, dog food, cat food, ferret food, hedgehog food. And if these are low quality foods, they're going to have more grain than actual meat. So while your possum isn't going to immediately die from this, it will over time hurt them and negatively affect their health. Also, do not feed them dairy products such as milk, cheese, things like that. As I mentioned, there isn't a lot of info on these guys, so it's a little hard to say which foods, uh, as far as vegetables and fruit go, are actually bad for them. So in general, we want to stay away from food that is harmful to similar animals. It is unsure if these items will hurt your possum, but you want to just be careful with this. And there's other things that you can feed, so it's better to just keep this out of their diet. And that is tomato, onion, garlic, avocado, and mushrooms. The most important part of your opossum's diet is going to be the protein. There are several different things that you can offer. Chicken, turkey, eggs, fish, mealworms, superworms, crickets, dubia roaches, uh, different types of insects, 
those are all good for them. And some people even include frozen thawed pinkies as part of their diet. They usually don't want to eat their veggies, but if you get them veggies that are pureed with fruit, they are more willing to eat that. And they're usually always very willing to eat lots of different types of fruit. I took pictures of what I feed Reaper Chief over the course of a couple of days. So let's go ahead and take a look at those photos so that you can learn how to feed them. As part of their diet, I include pureed baby food. I like to use beech nut because there's nothing extra added to the food. There is no extra sugar. I buy different ones every week. They have a lot to choose from. This week I'm using apple, blackberry, and for veggies I'm using just spinach, zucchini, and peas. Another great thing to include is insects, which I do feed live, so that's one of the reasons I'm not including them in the photos. Here we have chicken, banana, grapes, apple, and cucumber. This is chicken liver, grapes, apples, peas, and carrot. This one is fish, papaya, blueberries, and veggie baby food. And in this one is chicken liver, fruit baby food, veggie baby food, and apples. This next one is chicken, veggie baby food, apple, and grapes. And lastly, in this bowl, we have egg, cranberry, peas, carrot, and fruit baby food. The servings, of course, are only for one opossum. They should always be housed alone. Feed them in the late evening so that the food does not spoil. In the wild, opossums do not get a meal every day. So don't be worried if they don't eat the same amount of food every day. It's best to give them the same amount of food every day, see what they're willing to eat, and then throw out the food that they have not eaten in the morning so that it doesn't spoil. Don't be worried about feeding these guys too much. Generally, they are not prone to obesity. If you do notice they are becoming a little heavy, you might want to cut down, but in general, you don't usually have to worry about them overeating. I am very much convinced that opossum pets are experiencing hair loss because they're being fed too much kibble. This is actually common in dogs. A lot of dogs that are uh, sensitive or allergic to kibble will start having problems with their fur, very itchy, hair loss, things like that. If this is a problem that you have faced, take out kibble from their diet for at least a couple of weeks. You will start to see a difference. Thanks for joining me for this video, and if you have questions about caring for opossums, please leave them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. I put out a new video on animals every week. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook, and if you would like to vote for a requested video, you could do so by going to my Facebook and under the photo album requested videos, liking or commenting on the picture of the pet you want to see in a video next. Thanks for joining us. Kibble is full of corn, byproducts, and other fillers to be able to make it cheap and easy to produce a lot of. When we look at a bag of kibble, immediately we want to see a protein on the beginning of the list, something like meat, chicken, pork. That's what people are looking for because they want their dog to get a lot of protein. However, kibble companies know this. Therefore, they started this thing called ingredient splitting. 